Welcome back. I'm Taegyeon, and we start off with the top stories. The first debate among major presidential candidates that is required by law took place Monday evening. The contenders focused on economic issues, in particular measures to ride out the fallout from COVID-19. In the first legally mandated debates, which focused on the economy, presidential candidates discussed the COVID-19 crisis. The Democratic Party's Lee jae -myung called for a full compensation of losses suffered by small businesses that is applied retroactively. 다른 나라는 국가 GDP의 대개 15% 정도를 지원했는데 우리는 5% 정도밖에 지원하지 않아서 사실은 국가가 질 빚을 가계들이 대신 진 거죠. 전 세계에서 가계 부채 비율이 가장 높기 때문에 The People Power Party's Yoon Sung Yeol agreed on the need for compensation, calling it a constitutional right, but he also stressed the importance of fiscal soundness. 코로나 그 대응을 위해서 확장 재정과 또 금융 확장 정책 때문에 돈을 많이 썼지만 우리가 다시 그 건전성 그 확보를 위해서 정부가 많은 주의를 기울여야 한다고 생각합니다. Justice Party candidate Shim Sang Jung criticized the two main parties' constant wrangling during the compensation negotiations. 35조니 50조니 서로 호가 경쟁하듯이 소상공인 위하는 척하다가 결국은 여당은 정부 탓하고 야당은 여당 탓하고 그렇게 2년 동안 책임 공방만 해왔습니다. 정말 신물 납니다. The People's Party's An Cho Su said extra budgets are not enough and called for a special account dedicated to the issue. 계속 추경으로 땜질하는 것은 굉장히 비정상적입니다. 우리나라 국가 재정을 누더기로 만드는 일입니다. 그거는 사실은 거대 양당 모두 다 책임이 있습니다. Ian Yoon also clashed over how they assess the current administration's antivirus measures. 집권 정부의 방역 정책의 실패를 이제 인정을 하셨는데 결국은 그렇다면은 이 민주당이 대선에서 책임을 져야 된다는 그런 뜻 아니겠습니까? 야당 코스프레 하는 게 아니라 본인 마스크 잘안 쓰시죠. 부인도 잘안 쓰시더군요. 규칙 안 지키시고 압수수색 그 신천지 지금 대구에서 사람이 죽어 나갈 때 압수수색 납득할 수 없는 이유로 안 했지 않습니까? The two also pointed fingers at each other's party over the handling of a supplementary budget that was approved in Parliament just prior to the debate. E blames the opposition for delaying the passage, while Yoon said the ruling party's spending package was not large enough. Ruling Democratic Party presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung campaigned in Incheon today, vowing the city's economic revival. His main rival, Papal Power Party's Yoon Song Yeol, began a tour day tour at Chungcheong Namdo and Tollado provinces, starting with a visit to Tangjin. Justice Party Shim Sang Jung will canvass in Daejeon and Chungcheong Namdo, while People's Party An Chol Su will rule voters in Busan, Ulsan, and the Gyeongsang Namdo region for two days. With Omicron continuing to spread fast, the nation added 99,573 new cases as of midnight of today. The number of patients staying at home and exercising self-care has also surged to top 490,000. But a series of deaths was reported among such low-risk patients, highlighting the need to supplement the system managing them. While self-treating at home for COVID-19, a patient in her 20s was advised to get hospitalized when the headache worsened. However, the hospitalization process was delayed and the patient had to wait in an anxious state. 무섭 기도하고 항상 그몸 상태를 파악하는 게 너무 힘들더라고요. 지금 제가 갖고 있는 증상이 정상적인 건가? Another patient, surnamed Kim, also experienced worsening symptoms while monitoring her own health at home. The patient called a community health care center and tried to receive consultations with a doctor over the phone. But she could not get through to any hospitals and was left waiting, relying only on medications in hand. According to existing guidelines, stay-at-home, low-risk patients aged under 50 can receive non-contact consultations and be prescribed to necessary medications over the phone. If their symptoms continue to worsen, they can visit a hospital. In particular, when they experience sudden aggravation with their symptoms, they have to be hospitalized immediately.
but such rapid and timely response is not easily met in reality. Last Saturday, a patient in his 50s who was exercising self-care and monitoring his own symptoms at home was found dead before receiving a phone call from a community health care center. This case has led to calls for supplementing the management system for patients staying at home alone. However, medical workers are also suffering from unbearably heavy workload as the number of stay-at-home patients has topped 490,000. The Seoul City government sent out emergency text messages to all COVID-19 patients on that day. Health authorities promised to come up with ways to take better care of stay-at-home patients by implementing a faster response system in case of emergencies. The mortality rate and severity of the Omicron variant appears to have both decreased. They are especially lower among the fully vaccinated, but seniors and those who are not immunized are still highly likely to become seriously ill. The mortality rate of those infected with the Omicron variant has been found to stand at 0.18%. That's nearly double the fatality rate of the seasonal flu, which is 0.1%. However, the variant's mortality rate has been found to be steadily declining. In the past two weeks, it has fallen to 0.13 percent. Among those who are fully immunized, the rate is even lower than that of the seasonal flu. Health authorities say the virus is becoming less deadly because more people are getting their third vaccine dose and more patients now have access to oral antiviral pills. The percentage of those who become seriously ill from the Omicron variant has dropped from 0.42% to 0.38% in one week. Therefore, the number of seriously ill patients remains stable compared to the surging number of infections. Although the number of cases soared more than 14 times in the third week of February from the third week of January, the number of ICU patients only rose 1.6 times. However, the government stresses the importance of managing elderly patients and the unvaccinated. The fatality rate among patients in their 70s infected with Omicron is 1.1 percent. Among those who are 80 and older, it's 4.9 percent, meaning the virus can still be fatal to them. Health authorities are urging unvaccinated elderly people to receive the Novavax vaccine and those in high-risk facilities to get their fourth shot. Consumer sentiment worsened this month amid the rapid spread of the Omicron variant. According to the Bank of Korea, the Composite Consumer Sentiment Index came to 103.1 in February, down 1.3 points from last month. The index had approved in January, but it has dropped again due to the COVID-19 surge. A separate index on the outlook of home prices fell 3 points to 97, continuing a downward trend for the six months. According to Radio Free Asia, Corvax facility has cancelled its recent allocation of 252,000 doses of Novavax's COVID-19 vaccine for North Korea. The reason behind the move has not been disclosed, but considering that Corvax had noted countries must indicate whether they will accept the offer by February 11th, North Korea most likely did not express its will within the deadline or rejected the provision. The National Assembly has passed a bill on paying 3 million won to each of some 3.3 million small business owners. The rival parties have agreed to allocate 16.9 trillion won, 3 trillion more than the government's initial plan. Compensation for small business owners makes up the largest share of the supplementary budget bill passed by Parliament recently. Each small business owner who started their business before December 15, 2021 and whose sales have declined will receive 3 million won regardless of their sectors. Some 3.3 million people, including 100,000 simplified taxpayers who have difficulty proving that their sales have decreased, will also be eligible for the compensation. 
Those who have already received compensation for business losses before can apply for the added compensation online without presenting certifying documents. You would be able to apply online after receiving a related text message. The scope of compensation, a highly contentious point, has been expanded from 80% to 90%. Socially vulnerable citizens who have less work due to the pandemic are also eligible. Special type workers and freelancers will receive up to 1 million won each. Drivers of corporate taxis and charter buses will get 1 million won first and 500,000 won more in contingency allowances. The virus prevention budget has also been expanded. Self-test kits will be provided to 6 million socially marginalized people, those infected with COVID-19, and those in quarantine will be eligible for paid leave. The budget will be allocated using excess funds and contingency allowances. Government bonds worth 11.3 trillion won are to be issued as planned. The supplementary budget is expected to alleviate small business owners' woes in the short term. However, there are concerns that could push consumer prices even higher. 하반기에도 예상보다 지금 수입 물가나 아니면 다른 지표들을 봤을 때 그렇게 낮지 않을 것 같아요. 물가가 오른다든지 이런 부분들은 배제할 수 없는 상황인 거죠. The government is to start providing the extra budget on Wednesday to 23rd after a cabinet meeting. Compensation for small business owners and contract workers is to be paid out from next month. In Korea, one of the popular culinary combinations is grilled pork belly with soju. Pork prices have already jumped due to increasing demand during the pandemic, and soju prices will also go up starting Wednesday. They will rise by less than 101 for the first time in three years. Although that doesn't seem like much, market watchers predict consumers will feel the brunt of the price hike. Last weekend, ahead of soju prices rising, sales of soju at large supermarkets increased by up to 60% year on year. It is apparently because some people wanted to stockpile the liquor before the price goes up. Another concern is that soju might be more expensive at restaurants or bars. In 2019, the factory price of soju gained 65 won, but most restaurants increased the price by 1,000 won. Now, a bottle of soju will likely sell for 4,000 won or 5,000 won at restaurants. Market watchers predict a similar price hike. When the jump will happen remains to be seen. A pot of kimchi jjigae sells for 7,000 won on average in Seoul. A bottle of soju can now be as expensive as a main dish. 안주값도 요즘은 사실 비싸잖아요. 살까 모르는 게좀 많이 부담이 될것 같아요. 마트에서 저렴하게 구매해가지고 집에서 먹을 것 같고. Small business owners say it is inevitable to raise prices of soju since wholesale prices go up. However, it will also not be easy for them to raise soju prices as they are already struggling with a drop in customers amid the pandemic. 그 영업 그 제한 때문에 손님이 없잖아요. 오시는 분들한테 그렇게 막 권하는 거나 이런 거를 잘 못해요. 장사하는 사람들 다 그럴 거예요. 어느 한계점에 닿으면 이제 그때. The tax on beer will also rise in two months. The soaring food and drink prices will inevitably place a heavier burden on consumers. A family of eagle owls has been captured by a camera near a hill in Peton. An amateur photographer came across a nest of the endangered bird and observed it for nearly 10 months. His recording vividly shows baby eagle owls growing into good adults. Two baby eagle owls with downy hair. They're spotted playing around on a tree branch. They flutter their yet weak wings to practice their flying skills. Having gotten tired of the flight, they are also seen yawning. The owlets have grown so big and dramatically in just 10 days. They grab the fee the mother brought in one foot and examine it before savoring it. They no longer look like babies just a month after birth. 
They have gradually grown into good raptors in two months. Now resembling a rather mature owl, they soar into the sky with powerful wing strokes. Experts say the eagle owls living near a hill are evidence to the healthy ecosystem in the area. It is necessary to seek ways to protect and care for the endangered birds that settle down in a hill near a downtown area.